I need to wash my bees. Hey everybody, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna kind of wash them off, but it's, I mean, they're not dirty. So what I need to do today is very important. Now, some people might have heard of the Varroa mite, you know, Varroa destructor. Uh, the Varroa mite is a real tiny, tiny little mite. It is a bug that lives on a bug. And what that mite will do is transmit well, it feeds on the hemolymph of the bee, so it weakens that bee, but there are also viruses that get transmitted. Now, those viruses, what they can do, there's deformed wing virus, there's, you know, a slew of other, I believe there's between 20 and 30. Now, there are others that are, you know, more of an authority on speaking to those viruses. You know, Humberto, Dr. B, uh, Fred Dunn, I'm sure, is well-versed in, you know, several of the different viruses. Um, I'll put up a picture of the deformed wing virus. Uh, that can weaken that colony, and I've learned before that colonies that are not taken care of, well, they do not make it through the winter up here in northeast Ohio at least in my apiary. Now, I'm not saying everybody. You know, there might be those out there that can manage their colonies without treating. I never figured that out, so this is just what I choose to do. Now, what I'm going to do here, you see on top of that bee castle hive there, there's alcohol and, ooh, I'm just getting bumped there. I'm, I'm right in their flight path. Uh, but there's alcohol and there's Dawn Ultra dish soap, uh, two tablespoons, mixed with one gallon. Now, there's recent research out there that shows that Dawn Ultra, you get a higher release of the mites off of the bees from Dawn Ultra as compared to the isopropyl alcohol. Now, if you're saying, well, Brian, higher release and things like that, what does that matter? It matters because there's a certain threshold where you want to hit and then you want to treat your bees, okay? Um, I'm treating them this, you know, this time of year with oxalic acid vaporization. Um, it goes into a vaporizer, you know, it cycles through. There's a couple grams of oxalic acid. It's a powder. And then when it goes into the vaporizer, it comes out as a gas. Uh, and that oxalic acid will kill the mites. Now, it does not get the mites that are underneath of the wax cappings. It gets those phoretic mites that are, you know, walking around in the colony, those that are on the bees in the colony. So I'm going to do several treatments. That way I hit them, you know, a couple times and try and get as much of a mite kill as possible. So, you know, all of that said about oxalic acid and vaporization and things like that, if the Dawn Ultra gives you a greater drop, well, have we been treating effectively? So, you know, when you put the bees in that alcohol, and yes, it will kill them, some are saying that, you know, the mite will seize up and not fall off of the bee. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to use both alcohol, uh, Dawn Ultra, and I'm going to check a couple of the colonies here just to see, you know, a comparison. Well, what did I get with this? What did I get with that? I'm going to pull from the same exact frame. So I'm going to try and keep this, you know, uh, as even as I can. So let's get into this very first bee castle right here. Uh, do a little spot check in there and let's do some mite washes. Okay, so... When you are doing this mite wash, you want to get into the brood, okay? You want to make sure when you do this, when you collect your bees, that you are not killing your queen. You want to make sure you get an area where there's young brood. Uh, you want to make sure you do not kill your queen. 
very important. Um, the alcohol wash and also uh, the detergent, you will kill the bees. Okay, got a cup of bees here. Now, in we go. I did not see the queen. So, in with some alcohol. And with the alcohol in here, you just swirl it, that's all. Now, I'm going to do the same thing from that same area with the dish soap. Okay, we'll see how many mites... I get, okay, I'm going to see if I can get this on camera, a uh, little speck right there, okay, so in this sample right here, I have one Varroa mite, okay, that is excellent. <laughs> now, I have mixed up uh, the solution prior to coming out here, so here we go. And, okay, let's see what results I get with the Dawn Ultra. One Varroa mite with that also. So, one with alcohol, one with Dawn Ultra. So, maybe my count is just low. Um, now, let's move on to this colony right here, this other bee castle. Uh, and let's do a wash there, and let's see what we get over on that one. So 11, if there's 300 bees, I mean, you're at, you know, and I'll count it to get an accurate uh, 3%. You know, that's, that's high. Um, this colony needs treated. Okay, we have four. So we got four with the Dawn Ultra, 10 with the alcohol wash. Okay, so I've got my... Larabi's vaporizer. Now I've got some caps that are filled, okay? I filled them up with the oxalic acid, all right? I'm going to turn the unit on and it's going to heat up, all right? Rob does, um, I mean, it's an exceptional job. Uh, Rob, who builds these things, he is a beekeeper, he's a good friend. Um, you cannot beat it. He just put uh, you know, just recently on the market also, he has a vaporizer that runs off of batteries. So if you're saying, well, Brian, you know, I go out in fields, I can't take, you know, a, uh, you know, extension cord with me, you know, I don't want to get an inverter and go all that route. He actually has one that takes batteries now. Um, I will throw links for uh, Larabi's, you know, um, down in the description here. So if you are curious, definitely check out Rob. So what I've done here is I have, wow, golf tees. So I have holes drilled in the back of uh, some of my hives. Now a couple of them, I don't have holes, so I'm going to have to treat from the front. But the back is ideal for this because I can take this unit, okay, and just plug that right in there like that. Now, that's hitting a frame. So look at that. That's hitting a frame on there. So I might go from the back on this as well. Uh, let me go run up and grab a cloth to put over this back entrance here. And uh, I'll be right back and then we'll go ahead and get a treatment with this. It's also very important when you're doing this right here. You want to have proper respiration, okay? So let me go get that, be right back, and we'll zip through and do some treatments. All right, we are all done uh, with the oxalic acid treatments. Um, the girls are worked up, uh, you know, and I figured that they would be just because we are in a dearth. Um, there's storms, and I was ripping up their brood nest. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what uh, this oxalic acid treatment does. Um, you know, I plan on treating them with a couple rounds of it. 
just to see, uh, you know, what my mic counts are afterwards. So, um, I'm going to get out of my bee suit. It's hot. Uh, y'all take care. Um, appreciate you following along. Hit that like, uh, subscribe along also if you haven't. So I'm going to get out of my jacket, get out of these clothes. Y'all take care.